since we're going to be working on doubles, we might as well preface everything with uh, some ground rules for doubles. All right, we're going to say Harrison and Rish are serving. I want you guys to get in your positions where you would be returning and serving from. The returner. What is Jack's role in doubles? So Jack's role is to try to set up Arian. Give Arian an opportunity to get involved in the point. If Jack misses the return, is he doing anything to get Arian involved? No. No. If Jack hits a lob over Rish's head, is he getting Arian involved? Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. All right, what's uh, what's Arian's role? Returner's partner. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, actually. Make the line call. What else? Opportunity to poach. I like it. Anything else? Cover the alley. Anything else? For me, Arian's responsibility is to try to talk Harrison into hitting the ball to him. And that's how he can get involved himself. He can, he can create an opportunity for himself. If he can talk Harrison into hitting the ball to him, then he gets involved and Jack didn't have to do anything. Arian, what could you do to talk Harrison into hitting you to the ball? Kind of like uh, stepping over it. You could ask him. What can I do, man? What can I do? Say, hit, hit me the ball, man. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get a little cross-court rally going. And let's see if Arian maybe can uh, talk Harrison into hitting the ball to him. You don't need to serve. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't take long. And it worked. All right, so what Arian can do to talk Harrison into uh, hitting to him is, is start moving around a little bit. You know, that's going to like get on his nerves. If he if he if he's if he's camped out here, but he's going to really cover the alley. This looks like a lot of space to hit into. So as soon as Jack hits the ball, ball lands in Harrison's court. Then he can just kind of slide over and, and, and close this real estate down. But if he's standing here, it looks like, oh, I don't have as much room to hit cross court. I actually have a lot of room to, down the line. Then, boom. And this is a much easier volley than the poach because look at the open court. No one's home. So if I can talk Harrison and hitting to me down the line, he's going to make a huge mistake because I'm going to, I'm going to close off and cover the down the line. How about the server? What's the server's role? Yeah. Same thing. Set Rich up. So if Harrison double faults, Rich going to get involved in that point. So that's why it doubles. It's really important to, uh, to get your first serve in because normally the, the returner is going to be a little defensive on the first serve, you know, regardless of how hard you hit it. They're just... They're waiting on a first serve speed. So they're probably going to be playing a little bit back. They're thinking, oh, I'm going to hit this cross court. Where second serve, no matter how you hard you hit it, they're thinking opportunity down the line. You know, hit Rish. You know, hit uh, short angle cross cross court. So when you guys play uh, some matches today, high first serve percentage. I want to see the net people very active, moving around. See if you can talk the baseline person into, into hitting you the ball. If you're the returner, try some different things. Try to take the ball early. Try to you know be close to the baseline. Take time away from the server. 
because you can I mean you can hit it in the alley just by blocking the ball you don't have to have to crush it the closer you are in the more angles you have try lobbing you know lots of different ways to get the point started but our end will never get involved if the point doesn't doesn't start any questions guys <laughs>